And now it's time to learn how to do a composition of functions. This might look a little strange. And it also might look like we're asking you to do a multiplication problem. This says f of g of x. Okay, It's saying start with x, plug it into the function g of x, get an answer, and then plug that answer into f of x. It's like a chain. Let me write that down. This says input x into g of x, get an answer, take that answer, and plug it into f of x. Let's try an example. It's kind of hard to do this one without actually just jumping to an example. I have some examples below. Three different functions to use. And here we go. Number one. Our input is 8. We're supposed to take 8 and substitute it into the g of x function. Here we go. What is g of 8? That would mean x minus 5, which is 3. We have now taken the g of 8 and figured out that it is 3. That means our new question is, what is f of 3? Let's see. We're going to substitute 3 into f of x now. We get 3 squared minus 2 times 3 minus 15. So let's compute that. 9 minus 6 minus 15, which gets us negative 18. So see, it was like a chain. It was like two function problems in one. Let's try it going in the other direction. So example 2 says this time start with f of 8, not g of 8. Here we go. 8 squared minus 2 times 8 minus 15. That gets us 64 minus 16 minus 15. You can use your calculator and you get 33. So now we know that the f of 8 is actually a 33. Let's do the problem g of 33. That gets us 33 minus 5 with 28. And now you've just done a composition. Notice that it matters which one you use first. I always like to think of this one, it's kind of weird because I've been so um, obsessed with reading things from left to right, but when I do a composition, I really do work in this direction. Let's try some more. Okay, so number three says h of g of x. This time it doesn't have a number. We're just going to use the regular equation with the x inside of it for g of x. So g of x was x minus 5. I actually like this one better because there's less work to do. So look at this. g of x is x minus 5. That means we can replace this g of x right there with x minus 5. Okay, remember what this means. This x minus 5, okay, will take the place of every x oops, in h of x. That's what that means. Here we go. h of x is 3x. Oh, x gets replaced. It says right here. This will take the place of every x. So x minus 5 has just taken the place of x plus 1. Now I'm just going to clean that up. Let's distribute the 3. So 3x minus 15 plus 1 is 3x minus 14. And we are done. Let's try it going in the opposite direction on number 4. This time start with h of x. h of x is 3x plus 1. 
take that, substitute it right there for the h of x. So we're doing g of 3x plus 1. Okay. Don't forget, this stuff's going to take the place of all the x's. So that gets us 3x plus 1 minus 5. It's actually a really good idea to keep that in parentheses when you replace x with it. Now we'll combine our like terms, so we get 3x minus 4, and we are done. Look at that. Once again, we've shown the order of this matters. Let's do one more. It's a little bit trickier. Number 5 starts with g of x. g of x is x minus 5. Okay, we're replacing g of x with that. So now we're doing f of x minus 5. Okay, take a deep breath. Here we go. f of x starts with x squared. So I'm going to replace that x with an x minus 5, but it's still getting squared. So we just did the x squared portion. Here we go, moving on. Minus 2x. Oh, there's an x again. We said we're going to replace every x with this stuff. So I'm going to replace it with, in parentheses, x minus 5. Still going. The end of the function says minus 15. Now we just need to clean this up. How do we do x minus 5 all squared? Ah, some of you like to use the box, some of you like to use foil. Either one works for me. In the end, we all get the same answer, which is x squared minus 10x plus 25. Next part, let's distribute our negative 2. So we'll get negative 2x plus 10, and we still have the minus 15. Now we're just going to combine like terms, and we will be all done. We get x squared um, minus 12x plus, what is this, 20. All done. We've given you a few examples to try on your own, so do the best you can with them, and we'll see you in class.